I first experienced the awesome reality bus myself last year at Brunel University and basically it's a three minute experience of what it's like to have a sensory overload so you're basically immersed almost like in the world of autism mm. so um, it helps parents understand what it's like for their children um, employers what it's like for their employees and what we wanted to do in every terminal of um, Heathrow Airport that's what we did today for the whole day was for passengers and for staff to just feel what what it's like mm. a little bit you know to be in the world of someone with autism and what happened was that a lot of like parents went in there and it's given them a little bit of an insight of like how challenging and yeah. how it, um, it can impact on all your five senses quite so an emotional hard experience it is there's a lot of uh, family that came out crying um, and I spoke to a member of staff as well that actually works with a, um, a young person with autism at Heathrow and he said after that experience what I'm going to do now is give him more time you know uh, give him time to process information and you know I'm really going to try and help this young man as much as I possibly can and that's what it was about today yeah, yeah invaluable I know that you run autism's got talent and as part of that a group who've appeared in that were also there we're going to look at the pictures while you explain what this was about I was so proud of them today <laughs> autism with attitude um, they first appeared on autism's got talent five years ago and since then they have just grown they're amazing these kids mm. and can you imagine having autism and doing a flash mob yeah. with all the difficulties that they have in every single terminal and that's what we were doing Doing today it was all hush hush and it just happened and there was one particular thing that came to mind was a, a gentleman just got off the plane and his son's been diagnosed with autism and he's at the very early stages and what he said was I couldn't believe that those children had autism and I'm going to hold that memory in my mind so that gives me hope for my son and that's again what it's about those kids are amazing and they're going to be dancing um, in Germany at the European Dance Championships and um, what we're going to be doing is working with Heathrow because some of those kids have never flown before. Yeah, and so it's a stressful experience it for is, everybody. It is. Yeah. So um, that, I'm really grateful to Heathrow for yeah. helping us um, with that. And um, yeah, they're going to be performing in Germany, so I'm so proud of them. Yeah, you've been incredibly busy because as well as all of this, you've yeah. also got a charity single out. Oh, my word, it's such a good single. <laughs> um, John Paul Rock, um, who is our charity patron, has just been diagnosed himself with autism right. and he's part of a group called Big Brothers and they released a single called Baby Boy in 2003 and we've released it with seven of the performers from Autism's Got Talent and you know what, it's better than the original, <laughs> it's so good. I'm sure it is. Yeah. yeah, and it was released today and the feedback has been amazing already so if people are interested they could go to our charity website, Anna Kennedy Online and yeah. they can buy a copy to support the charity and what I try and do is create opportunities mm. for our young people children and adults you know they're not second-class citizens as I keep saying and they can do amazing things but they just need to be given the opportunity yeah. small reasonable adjustments to help them in college in the workplace so yeah I'm so proud of these kids and adults that are, you know baby boy it, it just keeps going around in my head because <laughs> I love it so much